Hello everybody and welcome back to Beta Days. I'm Beaten and today I have got some exploration planned uh, for us here in Riverton. First and foremost, I do want to apologize for last video's audio after the first four minutes. Turns out my computer just decided to boost everything to 21 decibels, you know, like you normally do, but it's all fixed as you can tell now and hopefully it doesn't happen again. If you didn't catch the last episode, we finished this interior, well not finished, but we got this interior working, working? Going. And you know, it actually turned out pretty good, but I feel like I could use some dark wood and you know, just some general exploring working on my four x four map because well, it's good, but we got to take this library to the next level. If you know what I mean, <laughs> we have some books here. I think they're just normal books. Yeah. And we started off with, I think this is efficiency. Yep. This is going to be my efficiency bookshelf because it's right next to the door. <laughs> efficiency. Get it? <laughs> and then I put channeling over here because I have yet to have a trident. But before we get into the video, please remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with streams at random times, whichever works for my schedule. I switched from Saturday, but, you know, got to switch it up time so different people can be at different things. So our next stream will be uh, today, actually, at 8 o'clock. So while you're watching this video, uh, be sure to check in back on my channel. That's not English. At 8 o'clock Eastern time, if you can. I'm going to be doing a hardcore stream with no agenda, just kind of playing, doing whatever. But I have to... Oh. Thank you. I have two things on my agenda today. Our exploring isn't going to be aimless wandering like it usually is. I do want, uh, I do want to get some, what's it called? Uh, I'm thinking, hold on. <laughs> uh, I do want to get some dark oak wood. So I know that there was a previous adventure that we went on, went on. Where that had, I had found that. I just forgot about it. Ow. And I also wanted to, what the heck? What's going on here? Huh. Never noticed that. <laughs> but I also wanted to uh, fill out this map a little more. You know, it's always fun to fill out, you know, maps in Minecraft. And when you can fill them out and say you've done that you know a four by four is a pretty impressive map to fill out so let's go ahead and get into my boat if i can find my boat i don't know where it is oh there it is i would like one with a chest in case we find any goodies do i have any goodies no oh, wow that's a bunch of crap let me put these away okay that took all of two all of two sec oh no come here where my map go oh there it is i was gonna say that took all all of oh <laughs> That took all of two seconds. All right. So I do know where we need to go to get my map. I have a theory that I think where we built the Mushroom Island Bridge and where the Spawn River goes, uh, I have a theory that it's connected. I think it's the same ocean. I would honestly be shocked if it wasn't. So I'm going to go ahead and travel down there and I'll meet you guys when I come out towards the spawn ocean. And Leo, if you're watching this video, don't get mad. Oh, I just left without food. <laughs> I was going to say, don't get mad at me because I have beds, <laughs> but I forgot food. Uh, typical bean and also going to pretend I wasn't on peaceful from cleaning up uh, my village earlier today. <laughs> You know, we're not all perfect, especially me. <laughs> all right, there's uh, another section of my map, but unfortunately we're gonna go out here. Uh, I think this should wrap around. It's the only place I haven't been, at least over here. Um, and it should wrap around to the mushroom area, but I'm not interested in going there. I think I need to go Actually, no, I do need to go to the Mushroom Island. I need to go to the Mushroom Island, then go to the southern question mark tip. Yeah, the southern tip of it. Oh. <laughs> and then I should be good to go diagonally 
from the Mushroom Island. I love how the Mushroom Island has kind of become our little point of reference and things. And plus, we get to look at some lovely ocean views. Some dolphins. Looks a lot different without shaders, honestly. Yeah. All right. Now, I think this is the point at which I turn here and start going up the coast. And if I'm correct, we should start seeing our bridge unless the entire ocean changed and the new landmass formed in between which honestly that'd be a little weird <laughs> but i've also heard of minecraft doing weirder things so we'll see i'm fairly confident that this is the same ocean it has to be we didn't travel far enough for it to be a different ocean yep there's the spruce biome and let's see if we can see my bridge Also, I should point out that the reason I went down and then up and around... Oh, yep, there's my bridge. I... Uh, is because I haven't gone south yet in any of my big adventures. And there is a part of the map that I have to uh, fill out down south, uh, as you can tell. So, that will be part of our excursion. But now if we can follow this bridge, you can actually see... If you're new from the World Tour video... You can actually see how big this bridge is. And I am going to fill out those supports all the way to this Mushroom Island here. And I think from here, I should be good to go this direction. And I should come up on the roof forest. So I'll keep trudging along. And then once I get to the roof forest, I'll update you on what's happened. Probably not much. Just a lot of ocean, if I had to say a guess. Hello, hello, hello. Is that a f uh, not a firework, a ship. Now, the question is, is this a ship that I've been to? I don't know, but I'm always in the mood to stop and get some loot. And hopefully not drown or get attacked by drown. I feel like I've found this one before. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Oh. That's ominous. Well, I'm going to put you here. And let's see if we can find something else. I don't want to get too distracted today. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to get too distracted. But. Oh, look at that. There we go. Some little exotics for today. And I'm about to start drowning. Oh, boy. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad. Some exotics, which is always good, but that is not the focus. I'm trying to stay focused. <laughs> you know, based on this map and kind of what it looks like and how far my dot's getting away, I think it might be over by our bridge. So we might be able to hit that on the way home. Well, on the way back from the roof forest. I don't know. We'll see. What is that? Oh, oh I should have brought my silk touch thing. I need uh, sea lanterns. Speaking of which, I also need... To, what is that? I don't know. I don't have Optifine Zoom. I also need to... Uh, what's it called? <sighs> Come on, brain. Oh, yeah. I need to... Do an ocean monument and kind of get stuff for that. I don't know. I, need, I have a lot of the game to play. Now that we're past episode 50, I got to start preparing for the end game. Oh, and is this land? I think it might be. Is it the roof forest? No, it's a jungle. Uh, don't really want jungle. <laughs> okay, now the question is... Is the roof forest down here or over here? Let's see. I think those are azalea trees. Let's... let's just, I'll just, you know, kind of... Alright. So I think I may have overshot it just a bit, but... Let me come up here and take a little nap, a little sleepy sleep. I say that because looking back at my old videos and the little software I use for already explored chunks, uh, there should have been an adjacent one like on this side of a roof forest biome. And well, there just, there just wasn't. Um, when I came out here, when I looked on the software, I was like, ah, yes. I, I did overshoot it. 
I'll have to do a showcase of that sometime. We can look at my world and kind of see everywhere I've been. I think it's really cool. I don't use it for any cheating purposes or anything. Can't see ores or anything like that. You can see caves, but I mean, you don't have to cheat for caves in this game. There's so many. Ah, there it is. Yep. I was slightly. Ahoy hoy, what's this? <laughs> okay, I'll check out I'll check out this for um I'll check out Oh look at that, there's an ocean monument too. That's new. Wow, there's a lot of stuff over here. I might have already checked out this area in the map. I don't know. I, this ship kind of lo looks familiar, but yeah, we'll see. Who am I kidding? It doesn't look familiar. <laughs> Let's go see. Oh, yeah, I think I've already been here. And really? I didn't bring back any dark saplings? I was here. I have been here. Oh, I wonder if the treasure map is... No, I'm still very far away from it. <laughs> it probably is most likely by our house. Anyway, to the roof forest biome to steal some wood. I should probably set up, actually in the future, I'll be able to set up a railway here, but literally have to cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> all right, well, that's pretty much all I needed to get. <laughs> From the, um, what's it called? Roofed forest. I wanted to call it the enchanted forest for some reason. Now, we're going to head back. Ooh, uh, let me grab this. Because I want to see if we get closer just by going straight, uh, straight across. If I go straight across, this should put me out at the, um, Wow, I cannot think of names today. The Taiga Forest. There we go, the Taiga Forest. Uh, and then we can find that. And then we'll just fill out the map because, you know, well, sometimes you need, a, you need a break from building and we've been doing a lot of building recently. I think I see another ocean monument over there. Dang, I re Leo, you were right. I really need to get to doing these. I'll have to get some new armor a conduit and what else new armor a conduit and well if i have a conduit i won't really need that many uh i won't really need any really potions i'll need to get sponges but oh nope this is the same one i was like is this a different ship no 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 i have the memory of a goldfish sometimes <laughs> so that means are we getting closer? Yes. I am excited. We're going to find this and then we'll continue on with our mapping journey. Oh, yep. It looks like this uh, treasure will be next to our bridge. It might be directly under our bridge. I don't know, though. But I was right. It's definitely on this um, coastline. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look. Oh, I didn't even notice that. This one will probably have the same treasure map, but I don't really care about that. I think I can... Oh, hello. I'll take you. Let's see. Let's go see what this map is. Oh, no. It's about to be nice. Night. Nice? Oh, my goodness. What's wrong with me? All right. Empty map, buried treasure map. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this is the same. Okay, don't need you. Let's go back down here and grab the other treasure map. Or not the treasure map, the treasure. Wow, that's stupid. Okay. That map's probably real angry at me. Like, really? Am I just a joke to you? <laughs> That was a very loud noise. All right, let's see what the suspicious dude does to me. What'd it do? I didn't see anything. Okay. <laughs> I guess that, that was a pretty good treasure map. Anyway, let's go find this treasure map. Oh, I, oh my gosh, it might be under my bridge. All right, and if Leo steered me correctly, 
It should be directly under me. And why am I pressing every button but the right one? Thank you. Haha. <laughs> oh. I always love me some of this. Some diamonds. Some TNT. Some fish. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, yeah. And then I got to always break the chest. There we go. Sweet. Now off to fill out this map. Actually, let me take a nap first. All right. Now we're at the right area because we're close to spawn but i think i need to go out and then go back up because i don't want to break my boat oh actually i can afford to break my boat but i don't want to you know kind of deal with everything um uh re like putting it back in the boat plus that's spawn i have a pathway there this isn't uncharted uh territory i think I'm going to do the corners and then we'll just see how much we can get of this on water. And then we'll do the on land. Cause I know up in that top left corner, it's mangrove. So that, that, that one's pretty tricky to, to navigate if I'm being honest. Let's see. Okay. So I think I'm too far away to, yeah, I was going to say, I think I'm too far away to start generating it because you know it's like oh i could just stay on my boat and drive down here but nope gotta go all the way to spawn if you saw the video with uh ryan stone no digital ryan digital ryan ryan stone's his other uh channel uh this is where i picked them up coming around this bend and you spawn really like right on the little peninsula it's actually kind of cool there's a coral reef here which you know i never go to but i'm sure with some sea pickles i could light up the river around riverton Ooh, that might actually be a good idea also is that coral dead no it's just purple okay but look at that we actually are taking out some of the map which is good because i'm gonna have to <laughs> get on the map and then run up here because the four by four scale is it's, it's pretty big honestly i didn't expect it to be this big but Oh, with Savannah. Wait, we already have a Savannah. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so it should be this way. I just want to make sure that I get all these pixels because I don't want dead pixels. And here you can actually probably see where my map or pathway ends, but I don't think we'll ha even have to get out for that. No? Okay. Well, let's do the corners and the border first and then go out in the middle. Because the middle, I think, is going to be interesting. I think. I don't know. <laughs> don't trust me. Maybe trust me. I don't know. You trust me enough to watch my video. All right. So bottom corner update. Uh, not much. I mean, cool underwater. You can't even see. Oh, this looks so much cooler with shaders on. Wow. This is a very, very dense coral reef. I didn't even know they could get this dense. Now, I'm not surprised that this is the acacia biome or savanna biome. Because up there is where we had the uh, armadillo episode. And actually, up there is that cave that I wanted to go back to. Um, somehow, I always end up finding diamonds. <laughs> Every time I come out and go on a little adventure, I'm like, oh, there's diamond. Oh, there's diamond. But I think... Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and follow this. See how far in this river goes. Let's see. Ooh. Hope I don't have to lose my boat. If, if it comes to it, I will, you know, get out of my boat for the sake of, you know, the map. But I think that's kind of what's going to have to happen here. Because I want to keep a straight line at the bottom. Because, you know, these maps are hard to you know keep uh <laughs> they're they're hard to stay in a straight line you know and get it full uh, wow i'm not englishing today <laughs> there we go yep back in the boat i go <laughs> i wonder how far this ocean goes this is, i mean these are big like oceans I, I mean so far from what i've experienced maybe i'll find you know some extreme hills maybe a badlands that i that one i wouldn't complain about honestly you know but i'll keep going and let you know if i find anything worthwhile or at least if i don't find anything worthwhile i will 
tune in at the corner. Wow, that's Ocean Monument number three this episode. I don't think I'm going to have any shortage of Prismarine <laughs> come late game. Oof, that is... That is daunting. At least now I get to choose which one I take over. <laughs> Almost coming up on this corner right here. Actually, yeah, pretty dang close. Just gotta make sure I'm getting all these little pixels down here. Oh, okay, that pixel. Nope. Uh, nope. Yeah, nope. <laughs> make sure my boat's in the right direction. There we go. There's a lot of dry biomes, which... I would be surprised if I would be surprised if there wasn't a Badlands biome around here somewhere. I mean, it's only it's got to be close. Let's make sure I get this last little corner, and now we start going this way. Oh. There we go. Onward. Oh, look at that spotted. Gotta go visit it. We might actually get some more treasure. Well, actually, hold on. Let me let me put this stuff up here. I don't I don't know if I want to get too much stuff out here. I guess I can always throw some stuff away, but I don't know, you know? Oh yeah, there it is. I was like, where did where the ship go? It's up here. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Eh, seems kind of far away. But I will save it. We can do it later. Just not right now. Oh, wait, I need to go for the treasure. <laughs> Duh. I was like, wait, what, what am I doing? I can't fit through that. I could probably fit through here. Uh, yep, I can fit down there. Come on. Hand me the treasure. Lots of iron, lots of lapis, some nuggets. Let's get out of here. Sweet. You know, I think instead of going in like a row or a line, I think I should just fill out this entire ocean first and then just fill out the land. I feel like that that, that would be the smarter thing to do. So I'm going to do that and just kind of do what sonar boats do when they map out the floor of the ocean. Just go back and forth. If I find anything interesting, of course, I'll let you know. But right now it's just the big blue little stony shore right there. It'll probably be useful for, I don't know, getting some free, easy to grab materials or gravel. Actually, that looks like there's a lot of gravel up there, so could be useful in the future. A little survival island. I forgot about that. Maybe I should do a survival island, but that's not my focus today. All right, looks like we're coming back up on land, which I should go like this just to get these little ones. Ooh. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll map out the coast and then do the main part of the map. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, honestly. Because if it's just the coast, well, then I shouldn't have any issues, but I don't know. Anyway, moving along. Here's a village, but this isn't anything new. I actually used this village when I was looking at the armadillos. So there you go. Some more bean and lore, but there... <laughs> At least I know that I have a settlement out here available for conquering and annexing <laughs> when the time is right. But right now, I've got a lot on my plate with Riverton. Now, call it a hunch, but I think I'm actually about to come up on my... Pathway? No? Oh, I guess not. Well, you can see how I meant to hug the coastline and now I'm deep in a river, but I am kind of curious to see where this goes. This might not go anywhere, but then again, it also, okay, this doesn't go anywhere, <laughs> but it also might go somewhere. I think it might just lead me back to the same ocean. Ooh, but there is a fork. Do I follow the fork? Of course I do. If this part leads me back to the ocean, well then, you know, this part does lead me back to the ocean. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I've got a shortcut back to where I started out. Nice. 
And I guess I can just go around here and get this little island part that I missed. Yeah, let's just map out these coasts. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I didn't miss this. I was just very far away. And those those will be good to look at, especially that one, because I see some sus sus ah, suspicious sand. <laughs> and yeah. Well, I'm just going to keep going through the night, and I'll let you know when I have a lot more done. Well, this is a pretty interesting little area I found. It looks like a big old, you know, cave entrance, but I wonder how far down it goes. If it does, ooh, mine shaft. That's good to know. <laughs> Not gonna go in there yet. We'll go there eventually. Um, I'll have to put down some uh, banners around for anything cool I find, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna find too much. I went ahead and just filled out that entire bottom right section because, well, you know, I wanna get it done. Uh, if I just do that, then it'll make the stuff on the boat easier and I won't have to keep getting in and out, in and out, in and out, you know? Um, but so far things are looking pretty much the same. Just a lot of water, sand, some jungles, stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. I haven't seen anything, heard anything, smelled anything. But yeah, just gonna keep cranking this out. You know, right as I stop recording, I think that's another shipwreck, but I also, wow. There's just a lot of water on this map. Uh, I'll go revisit that shipwreck later. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to it, but I wanna follow this coastline. I think it'll be beneficial to us in the long run because it looks like we're unlocking a lot of this map. Ugh. I'm not looking forward to traversing the jungle. Actually, I might be connected to those oceans up top by Riverton. Well, I guess, yeah, maybe. Who knows? We'll see. Now, if there's ever a place to break through to get uh, over up into those waterways by Riverton, it would be down here which we may get so lucky. I don't know. It might be one of those things where you only have to remove like a few blocks. Uh, yeah, see? I think we might. Oh yeah, these can take us, wow, this could take us right to Riverton. Well, that's good. I'm glad we're opening shipping lane, eh, shipping lanes for me. I don't know why these haven't opened up. Oh, it's because of you. Right? No? What? I'm confused. Usually this works. Uh, hello? Why isn't it updating? Hello? Um, interesting. Oh, yeah. This is the... Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you... Okay, you know what? Go over here. I don't want all that. Yeah, because if I come up here, then this waterway connects me to Riverton. That's good to know. Now I don't have to do all this crazy... Now I don't have to go all the way back down around when we go home. Because if you look up top, it goes up through there and then that's the village i'm pointing at my screen like you can see but that's the village and then uh around the village there's a little waterway that gets mapped out and then there's a canal i made just north of riverton on the map so that's good to know i'm glad i'm glad we have that well another night has passed and i'm really glad that i brought my boat i think this is all water <laughs> there's plenty of shipwrecks but Honestly, I haven't been really paying attention to which ones I've seen and which ones I haven't. Just because, well, I, we can save that adventure for another day. We'll have a, we'll have a nautical navigation episode. I think I've already found that. Out. Nope, I guess I haven't. Huh. But yeah, like there's that one, there's that one. I just passed two more. I know I said I'd go back to that one, but at this point, I'm like, there's so many. Why bother? Just, let's just have a shipwreck dedicated episode in sometime in the future 
But I think this is gonna be enough exploring for me for a while. I think I wanna get, um, I don't know. I think I wanna get building some more in the village. I've really been on a good kick with that. And hopefully the magma blocks, blocks? Yeah, magma blocks don't destroy my boat. Ooh. Is this gonna be an island? That'll be interesting. I'm gonna go, you know, do it and then find out. Here's something cool I just found. A wide open entrance to a lush cave. It's nice. I'm also really glad that I brought my boat because look at this. Everything that's left is land. <laughs> oh, I gotta wrap this up. I think I'm getting close to time here. And I guess this is your guys first time seeing the uh mangrove so here it is at least in this world i'm sure you've seen it before on minecraft but this is where i'm trying to get my next rail line to because if i'm not mistaken these have higher diamond spawn rate underneath them i don't know why but if it gets me more diamonds then hey you know <laughs> I need both diamonds and netherite. All right, and that is all of the uh, boat accessible spots on the 4x4 map. I think I'm, yeah, okay. So I'm right there, right here. I'm parking my boat here. So if I ever forget it or get lost on the way here, um, you know, I can find it back easily. But the rest is just on land. And I think I should, I should, well, if, I'm just going to record anything that I find that's noteworthy, but it's savanna and jungle, so eh, I don't think there's going to be anything that cool. Found a very large hole. Look how deep it goes. I wonder if I've been down there. Maybe. It looks like there's a few light sources, but my next issue is how do I get down from here? <laughs> I guess I'll just walk on the ridge until, you know, I can find an easy way down. I don't want to fall to my death. Almost just fell down this, which would have been bad. But if I fall down here, that's... And I missed the water. <laughs> okay. And there it is. Completely mapped out. I forgot a bed, but luckily I have my lit pathway. I can go back, get my... Uh, what's it called? Boat? <laughs> there we go. Uh, and then we can hang this up, and I think we can wrap everything up for the day. I've been recording for quite some time now. Um... So, hopefully, this will look nice on our wall. Well, we finally made it home. And would you look at that? A true 4x4 map that we can gaze at like this. And let me get a screenshot of that. Maybe that can be a thing. But I did not expect there to be this much water. And I also realized that there's a few spots up there and a few spots down there that I missed. But, you know, what's a single pixel? Honestly... I think I did a pretty good job. Actually, I can't tell. Are these? I don't know. Honestly, those ones might be. I know that one is down there. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. This is good enough for me. And I think it was a fun episode. You know, got to see a lot of what our world looks like around us. And you really see how small... Riverton is in the grand scheme of things even though it looks really big and I just completely missed that because I wasn't looking at my screen before we wrap up I actually do want to kind of go clean up my stuff why do I still have you oh well <laughs> I want to go clean up what's down here and kind of take a look at what we got because I was so busy being greedy that I never saw it and well you know just kind of want to see you know let's see uh, we've got some books, 42 iron. That's not bad. Now, I one note I never touched on that I wanted to was uh, the wood. I didn't grab a ton on purpose because if you notice, I also didn't grab eight saplings. Okay. Well, I tried to grab enough saplings for two trees because I know that I would have wanted, you know, my... Oh, no! Oh no! You got turned! Oh well. I'll just get another one. 
That's kind of that kind of stinks. I don't want them to get turned, but whatever. I've got plenty of beds. The village will even itself out. As long as we don't have a another raid. Ooh, that one was bad. <laughs> but I want to let's see. What was I looking for? Oh yes, books. You guys, we can start putting you up here because well, these are just the the poopy. There we go. These are just the blank books. I guess these will be blank over here. Um, which is good because, you know, you need blank books in the library. Well, no, you don't. But, you know, it helps. Uh, back to what I was saying. The wood. Yes. I was trying to get enough for two trees so that I could start a farm. But I should get enough now uh, to keep a farm going. Speaking of which, eh, no. I was going to say, I could plant one. Actually, you know what? If I plant one right here, I think that would be a lovely bit of color added. I don't know what it'll do to the bamboo, but, you know, eh, whatever. <laughs> Let's see. Chicken. I don't want your egg, but I guess I got it. Uh, wood. Hello. Dark wood. You go up here. You'll be perfect. Diamonds. I forgot we got two diamonds. E Lapis. Ooh, I'm going to start... Wow, we're going to run out of space for lapis. Actually, I can turn... Oh, that's a lot of iron. I can turn you into nuggets. Oh, I should... Honestly, I should have turned uh, turned them into lanterns, but eh, who cares? Uh, emerald. Yep, that's good. And let's see. What are these? The coast armor gem. I think I have a lot of those. Um, let's check. Rare items. I always forget that I have these. Oh, channeling. I'm breaking. I think I have channeling. Oh, I do have books. I'm glad I've got these for the library. Yeah, I do have those. Um, rare items. I'm oh, buried treasure map. That's pretty. I guess quote unquote rare. Chicken egg. You can go there. Seeds and saplings. You can go in here. Boop. 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 That's good. And then dirt. Got plenty of space for you. I guess I can call empty maps. Yeah, these can go in here. Uh, let's see. And then... Oh, stop it. Oh, I, oh, I was like, I seem to be stuck. Then we can go over here and put some more books into the library. Uh, food. Yep. Leave my pickaxe in there for now. We'll see if this tree grows, but I don't know. Probably not. And then... Whoop. Let's see. Oh, I was like, where's the library? I might have to... I don't know. I guess just having this big of an area now is kind of a thing. Okay, so what do I have? Soul speed, riptide, soul speed. Do I have two soul speed? I do. Unbreaking, channeling. Okay, so I know channeling is right here. Channeling, channeling, okay. Uh, soul speed, if I have two of these, I can put, that's not, there it is. If I have two of these, I can put them down here. And then riptide, unbreaking. Unbreaking, I think I wanna put down here. And then Riptide, I should keep them near my channeling. So I guess this is channeling. And then Riptide. All ocean ones should be around here, which means maybe, there we go. Maybe I'll categorize them by a higher hierarchy or, a, you know, a taller hierarchy. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap things up. Up in the tower, you know, take a look up there, see see what see what all it looks like now. You know, I really do like coming up here. It just looks so nice, doesn't it? Riverton. I remember when it was just that little house on the hill and just Greg's house and I mean look how far it's come. This is crazy. Actually I looked today and on my YouTube stats it said my first video was already two hundred and six days ago. This is crazy. But I'm excited to see how far Riverton goes and what we can do with it and all the people that join along. 
Let me just close these back up. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next week, I think we're going to do some building. And I think we're going to start getting a bee farm up and running. Because I think that would be nice to add up over around behind me somewhere. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what you think about our biome and how much ocean there is and what I should do with it. Uh, and also, if you're new, please subscribe and make videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday with random videos in between. I know I said earlier in the video that I make them on Saturdays, but some schedule re reworks are still being made. Uh, anyway, that should be it for today. And remember, please tune in to the live stream tonight at 8.30, no, 8 o'clock Eastern time tonight, right after this video. Uh, other than that, I'm Beanin. This has been Back to Beta Days. Peace.